didn't see you there. Hang on. Oh. Are any of you in need of a haircut or a hairdresser or something? I am. Oh my goodness. Oh, there you are. Good morning. It's, I know I'm a bit later than usual. It's Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday today because the bins have just been emptied outside. Oh, I can't remember what day of the week we're on. Oh my goodness. I thought, uh, if it's okay with you, we'll meet later for uh, evening prayers and uh, and perhaps a, a bedtime story as well. That would be really nice. But for now, uh, I was just thinking uh, of, a, of a good morning giggle. I have a friend, uh, one of my churches, John, um, and John will ring me and says, have you had a laugh today? Have you giggled today? And sometimes I'll say, yeah. And I'll share with him what made me laugh. And then he has a laugh. And sometimes I'll say, do you know, I haven't. I haven't had a giggle or a laugh today. And he said, well, I'm glad I'm ringing you. I will make you giggle. I'll make you laugh. And that will be uh, something really lovely for the day. I really look forward to uh, to getting phone calls from John. So I thought we would have, oh, look at that. There you are. I thought we would have a good morning giggle and a prayer together. And then I'll see you later. Uh, uh, Any time from six o'clock, let's have uh, evening prayers and a bedtime story together and it will give me some time to do something with this um, mop on my head. <laughs> Don't know what. Here we go. Let me put my glasses on. I've got something to share with you, which my friend Karen uh, from Kingsfold Methodist Church posted uh, on Facebook the other day. Oh, and it was so funny. And I said to Karen, I said, I think I might, I might use some of these for our reflection on Wednesday. Made me laugh. And it's some of those things, those children uh, are asked questions about the New and the Old Testament. And it's the replies uh, that the children have made. And I think they're brilliant, aren't they? So it says, uh, the following statements about the Bible have been written by children. And uh, they've actually left some of the spelling mistakes in as well. But anyway, so let me share a few with you. Let's have uh, a good morning giggle together. And then I'll see you later for our, our evening prayers. So, number one. <laughs> in the first book of the Bible, Guinness, <laughs> God got tired of creating the world. So he took the Sabbath off. <laughs> Ready? Adam and Eve were created from an apple tree. Noah's wife was Joan of Arc. Noah built and Ark and the animals came on in pairs. <laughs> pairs, P-E-A-R-S. <laughs> right. Samson slayed the Philistines with the Acts of the Apostles. <laughs> Moses led the Jews to the Red Sea where they made unleavened bread, which is bread without any ingredients in it. <laughs> right. Keep, keep, keep waiting. The Egyptians were all drowned in the desert. And afterwards, Moses went up to Mount Sinai to get the Ten Commandments. <laughs> That's where he got them from. <laughs> oh. The first commandment was when Eve told Adam, eat the apple. <laughs> I like this one. Solomon, one of David's sons, had 300 wives and 700 porcupines, didn't you know? <laughs> when Mary heard she was the mother of Jesus, she sang the Magna Carta. <laughs> oh, that's changed history a bit, hasn't it? <laughs> Jesus was born because Mary had an immaculate contraption. <laughs> Oh, oh, something with his hair. Right. St. John the Baptist. Oh, no. St. John the Blacksmith dumped water on his head. <laughs> Last one. The people who followed the Lord were called the 12 decibels. <laughs> oh, dear. What a way to start the day. Oh, I can't even see you. There you are. Just ignore the colour. It's it's a new it's a new feature that's coming through. And oh no, I'll save that till the end. Let's have let's have a prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the things in life that make us laugh, the things that bring a smile to our faces. 
We thank you for a sense of humour helping us to see the funny side of life, enabling us to share a joke even when it's on ourselves. We thank you for those with the special gift of bringing laughter to others, bringing a little light relief into the seriousness of our world. Loving God, there is a time to weep and a time to laugh, a place for solemnity and a place for humour. Help us to get the balance right in our lives. Teach us to appreciate your gift of laughter and to share it with those around us. In the name of Christ. Amen. Let me leave you with this. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 13. A glad heart makes a happy face. A glad heart makes a happy face. Stay safe, have a good day, what's left of it, and let's come together later. It would be lovely to share prayers, a bedtime story and fellowship together this evening before, before the close of the day. So take care, stay safe and I'll see you later. Okay, I'll go and do something with my hair now. Oh, oh I don't know what. I'll see you later. Bye.